Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm Woking and my mic is on and I'm here with Toast. Hey. And we're Not here. the first intro we've recorded. No, and we're here with Twisted Metal Black, which you're saying, is this considered a Halloween game? And I'm going to be saying, yes it is, because this is the dark, gritty, fucked up version of Twisted Metal, and I'm going to be talking because Painted Black is currently playing in the background, and I'm not 100% oh, shit, sure. Oh copyright, I don't know. Get it out. <laughs> Alright, but they can only afford that tiny bit of it. But this is Twisted Metal Black. Black. Tell us, how, many, how much do you know about Twisted Metal? I know there's a clown. Uh-huh, sweet as we can clearly As we can clearly see. Yes. That's, I know fun vehicles destroy other people's vehicles most likely killing them in the process i'm, ch I'm changing this to easy that is correct and, and that is everything that is known about twisted metal up until this game now in the twisted metal series there is a wish factor the reason everyone is participating in twisted metal is so that they can get their wish fulfilled by calypso and then if you win with the player uh calypso grants their wish but it's typically like uh they'll say like Man, I wish I couldn't be stopped. And they're like, all right, I've turned you into, like, a flying a perpetual machine or whatever, and you'll never stop now. <laughs> I wish nothing could stop me, and then he'll turn you into, like, the wind. He's like, ha, 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 that's been Calypso. Be careful what you wish for. So it's always been a little bit silly until they reach this game. And this game is straight up the dark, gritty, fucked up version of Twisted Metal. <laughs> this is the one people think of what Twisted Metal is about when they think of Twisted Metal it is Twisted Metal Black. So we'll jump in and see if we can get the story for it. We'll choose a car and advance through the arenas and unlock their story. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see whose story we have for the potential go. We can play as... Junkyard Dog, Brimstone, Outlaw, Mr. Grim, Roadkill, Crazy Aid, <laughs> Spectre, Darkseid, Shadow, <laughs> Locked. <laughs> Shadow seemingly to have like the most normal of them all. And Sweet Tooth. And that's Junkyard right, Dog. So there you go. That's who. That's who we got to go for. Who, who you feeling? You know what? I uh, go back a couple. Uh huh. To Dark Side or to Shadow? Or Sweet? Uh, no, sweet a little tooth? further back. Yeah, just keep going. Let's okay. see again. One more rotation. Sure, sure. Junkyard Dog, Brimstone. All of these are also have store characters with their own story and everything. They all have their oh, own. Mr. Grimm. I think he's fitting. All right, we'll go with Mr. Grimm, and we should be able to hear the beginning parts of his story. Hopefully, you're actually able to hear this. And I am. You lose track of time. Hours melt into days. Days turn into years. Thirty years, in my case. After so much time in solitary, I should have been getting better. The guy has an insanely big newspaper. I kept on hoping. I knew if I waited long enough, I'd get revenge against the man who destroyed my mind. Sandwich! <laughs> no! <laughs> but I could only wait so long. Oh, I hate when my sandwich turns into guts. He had to eat a PB and J with the crust. <laughs> no! My that does things to a man. That, called himself Calypso. That's Calypso. He said he ran a Seems nice. Yeah. Winner take all. In my case, the first prize meant getting even with the man who stole my sanity. How could I refuse? I agreed to play. He agreed to play. It was nice of the asylum to just let him go free in a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Well, I see no reason why we can't give the mentally ill prepared a motorcycle. When I win this contest, I'll have my revenge. What he did to me and my friend, it ripped my mind apart. 
So yeah, uh, this uh, this character was in previous Twisted Metals, but I don't remember him having this level of fucked up. Okay, so now I have to remember how to drive. Okay, there we go. And they now, throw you in. holy sh Okay, so yeah, here's the other part. This is back when, oh god, games were video games. So stuff is just happening in the background. Okay, I remember how to play. Next to your telling camera's inverted. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that person got ran over. Okay, we're fine. Um, so basically, I need to survive, die, and kill the other participants of this. There's my rocket, the twisty rockets. JR, barbecue sauce. Have you ever played any of the car combat games in I've your history? Like, I've played, oh, like, God, one twisted metal as a kid that I don't remember anything about. It was probably one of the PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, the this series uh, burned bright and burned out by the time we got to generation the next generation. These games basically existed in the PS One, and that's it. Once we got the PS Two, they had released so many of these people were tired of the genre, and yeah. this is likely the swan song for them. After this, they were never on the same level. Uh, also, these guns are not easy. Here's my sickle that I'm throwing. Oh, God. Wee. Now, I also have to remember to... I have limited life. Okay. We're going to have to try and kill this guy. Oh, God damn it. I'm so bad. I'm not blaming it on our car, but it is very hard to kill these dudes in a motorcycle. Everyone else has, like, full-on cars, and I'm out here in my sidecar with a missile attached to it, trying my best. <laughs> ding, ding. There we go. I just pulled a memory deep out of my mind. Okay, I do remember one game that had some vehicle combat sections like this. Uh-huh. Jack X. Jack X, yes. That definitely had it. Whoa! I, play, I actually really... I, I remember liking that game, and I understand the Jack fan base does not... Uh, you know, it did, it, it was a car combat game, funny enough. Though I um, realized that fan base seemed to split heavily with the release of 2 anyway, so. Yeah, to be fair, for some people, uh, Jack and, uh, Jack, Jack 2 to was for a, some people. yeah, it was a huge, it was a huge difference maker going from Jack and Daxter to Jack 2. I'm gonna run over this guy real quick. I even noticed it as a kid, it was really weird. Yeah. I could, I was not as good as Jack 2 even as someone who grew up, like, almost entirely on Ration and Clank. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I was definitely more Ration and Clank, but I love the original Jack and Dexter. I, I think I've 100%ed it at one point in my life. Um, I have a funny story as to why I've never beat, like, why I never beat it as a kid anyway. Why did you never beat it as a kid? So, oh, I was playing it as a kid, had a copy, really uh -huh. fun. I don't know where I was in that game, but at some point I was playing a few hours hadn't saved because that's what kids do. Mm -hmm. We had an ice storm that knocked our power out. Wow, our, really? Yeah, it was that bad. It knocked our power out for literal weeks. And by the time the power came back on, I realized I lost all that progress. I was like, eh, I'll play something else. And I probably <laughs> proceeded to beat Ratchet and Clank 3 for the 100th time. Makes sense. Man, that is rough. I, yeah. uh, as a kid... That's one of the games I really want to go back to. Uh, which one? 3? Deadlocked? Uh, no, no, Deadlock uh, is 4. Jack, yeah, that's technically 4, I think, but I just mean, like, Jack 1. Yeah, fair enough. Jack 1 is... Ah, oh, I, I, am I dead? No, I'm not dead. God. I forgot Sweet Tooth has the ability to turn into a mech in this one. So that makes it very hard to actually beat this guy. Uh, I've died, but it's okay. I think I have two lives. I think. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say, is there any, even, like, any way to heal? Uh, there is. I'm just, like, not picking it up. <laughs> because I, I can't <laughs> find it right now. It's not... Oh, God. I'm also getting shot from every direction. Alright, machine gun upgrade. Doesn't seem like any of the AI are fighting each other. No, they are. It's just that they're all fucking going at 500 miles per hour. And the second anyone even tries to do anything to them, they run away. Oh, God. Come on, that had to have killed the sweet... Go! Die! Oh. Okay, yeah. That had to have killed him. I refuse to believe that did not kill someone. Alright, we're gonna go for this guy. Um, yeah, back in my day, uh, when I got the GameCube, I didn't have a memory card. 
and the first game I got on the GameCube was uh, Wind Waker. So Ooh, every single time I played, game, yeah. yeah. But every single time I played Wind Waker, I had to basically restart it, and I did that intro <laughs> bit where uh, it was nonstop going on for like a very long time. And if you remember the intro to Wind Waker, it's a long, unskippable cutscene. It is a very long intro. Followed by you on an island, and then followed by a stealth sequence. <laughs> So, oh, there we go. That's one player down. Oh, I need to get this guy. I remember I had one memory card. Sorry, I, I got a memory card with my PS2, but uh -huh. I remember when I got Guitar Hero 3 as a gift, I played that, like, all day. By the time... I was probably 8 or something at this point. Yeah, damn, I was young, but... When mm -hmm. it came time for me to go to bed, I went to save... For like the first time, I didn't have any space on my memory cards. Oh. My mom actually, no, my mom actually took me to Walmart at like 10 at night to go buy really? a memory card, and she bought me one. That's great. I yeah. did, did not have that luxury. <laughs> Someone buying me a memory <laughs> card when I needed it. I had to wait a very long time before I could have it. I had to buy almost like anything else video game related I want, but she bought that for me. I mean, fair enough, to be honest. You need. Oh, that must have been my special. That's why I dealt so much damage. Oh, uh, I think we're almost done. No, we're not. There's so many cars here. <laughs> There's so much cars and destruction here. Oh god. Speaking of, when I asked about the inverted controls, I swear I can never adjust to them except for Ratchet and Clank. No, inverted controls are very hard to do anything with. To be honest. I have yeah, no idea how it was able about, to do like, PS2 Ratchet when I boot it back up. I just immediately am in that zone. Yeah, it, I think it's like it's literally muscle memory at that point. Trying to remember yeah. how to do it all. Die Warthog. Alright. Um, I remember when I was a kid, I didn't know the difference between right and left. So whenever there was inverted controls, I didn't know. So for the longest time, I just had no idea if the inverted controls were inverted or were a thing. Like, I just accepted, like, oh, yeah, this just goes this way. And then later on, I learned there was an inversion. And it, like, broke my mind as I went, like, so wait, which is the right and which is the left? I was, like, trying to figure it out. And I could never figure it out. It was a sad state of affairs. Oh. I know y'all. There you are. Take this giant truck. Bullseye bonus. He's Ooh, gone. Nice. Thank you. I am close to left. death, though. You do have one more life, it seems. Yes. That would be very helpful. Oh! Alright, Axel's destroyed! <laughs> we thank God he decided to go right for my face. <laughs> Sometimes the easiest prey is the one that jumps right in front of you. Ready to be taken down. Is this health? No, it's turbo. Turbo. Alright, let me see. There's a dude still out here somewhere. I can hear him. Oh, God. I hear him because he's shooting at me. Alright. Die! 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 Spectre has been destroyed. Is that it? One enemy left. Alright, we can find him and we can kill him before I lose this singular life. I still have my special, so I think I'll be able to do a lot of damage. There he is. Yeah, it's a shame that these kind of games just can't exist anymore. Yeah. With the ones where it's like, yeah, there's not really like a whole lot of... I guess Call of Duty is the closest to this, right? Just no, no thought. Just game. Just go in. Shoot, shoot. Oh, yes, yeah. he destroyed me. Kept up with FPS or anything, so I don't know. I'm not even sure if it's that anymore, to be honest, because most of FPSs at this point are all battle royales. They are. Yeah, to a very sad degree. It's just, it's just I ah! don't dislike battle royale, but it's not my genre. It is mean. not. Ah, uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I can get, I can say it. All day, so. I do have fun with it though. Uh, and of course, everyone's. I was about to say Battle Royale was Dragon Ball the Breakers, but that is not a Battle Royale. <laughs> that is a. Uh, <laughs> I was going Dead by Daylight clone. It is a dead game, that is correct. A Dead by Daylight <laughs> game, but <laughs> celebrating its first year anniversary before it's gone. Dark Side, yes!
Woo, baby, you win. Save nice. game. Yes. Definitely now, should save. Yeah, 100%, because that is not easy. That's why I turned down the difficulty, because I was like, I remember this game being not easy. Choose a level. The suburbs or the freeway. We should go to the freeway. All right, let's go to the freeway. There's too many people in the suburbs. Man, speaking of Dragon Ball, finally getting a new series. Yeah, it is. Finally, Dragon Ball uh, Kids. My killing instinct yeah. is coming back to me now. Just like the war, I'd forgotten how good I am at this. <laughs> Damn. They definitely hired writers for this game. <laughs> yeah, the so, quality of the writing, arguable. Off, on, off the, again, during this, uh, you, you joke, but at the time, this game was praised for its story. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, it was. You have to remember what stories were like at this time. This is what the people wanted. I need you to die, sir. I need you to get in front of my bullets and kill it. Die. I was about to say another. It's fine because they peaked the Metal Gear Solid 2 anyway. It's true. Like, you have to remember, that's when uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 hit, and then all of a sudden people cared a lot more about story and presentation. Yeah, stuff like MGS1, FF7. Yes, like before then, there was story, but the presentation was different. Like yeah. that, not to say that there were bad stories because there were some fantastic stories back then, but stories were just out of a different, like secondary kind of nature type of thing. God, yeah. I am falling Gameplay into this guy's... first story. Yeah, I don't know. sometimes it was second, sometimes it was last. <laughs> it really kind of depended. Oh my god! I, I get... No, you can't escape from me, sir. I don't care that you're shooting me with rockets. I will hit you with my special. I will not hit you with my special. I failed. But you are still in my line of sight. Someone is targeting me. Ah! <laughs> I've died. Definitely a harder map. Yes. Very hard. Very difficult. That's why I'm losing. Oh! But I also have to be smarter with what I'm doing with stuff. Uh, and realize that these guys probably have my number as much as anyone else does. Oh, and how much life I'm losing. I've lost almost all my life in that one encounter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, is this health? It is not health. Hey, this is just what we actually want to do on the freeway. Yes, this is how most people actually would prefer to act on the freeway. Uh, but yeah, the... How good a story was was a little bit different. The parameters were a little bit different. This guy having a dark, fucked up Vietnam flashback story that was heavy ahead of its time at the time. Not a lot like that. Holy shit, I keep forgetting that that one button presses and changes my view into live reaction from the name of our guy over Mr. Bones. I forgot his name. His name is not Mr. Bones. I, I think it's Mr. Bones now. Live Mr. Bones reaction. <laughs> oh, God, he <laughs> shot me. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, we're fine. I'm backing up. Yeah, eat shit. No, I wasted my special. You still have one more. <sighs> okay, I need to run away. Is he still behind me? He is still, in fact, behind me. What? What? Oh, oh! he hit me with some <laughs> kind of special device that made me stay in place. All right. We're fine. You would think the green would be like health. Health. But it's no, but health it's pickup. it's turbo. What is gas can? Oh, I can throw gas cans at people. Okay, that's actually good to know because that would actually be preferable for far away combat that I would like to participate in. This is a Magnum machine gun upgrade for the ricochet. The good thing is that oh god, yes, eat shit, dark side. That machine gun upgrade seems really good. Oh, yes it does. Oh, unfortunately, this is where I die. Well, I have one more life. Last life. You gotta kill five enemies. Oh, God, and they spawned me right in front of this guy. Homing. They seem nice enough to give you some stuff when you respawn. Yeah, that is good. That Probably the, the benefit of playing on an easier difficulty, to be honest. <laughs> probably. Alright, two of them are pretty close to dying, but I need to escape, because I'm running low on health. And I think I just ran into something that made me lose oh, even more health. Seems. Oh man, I really need health. I need to find health. Oh, uh, this guy has almost all his fucking health left. I should not be fighting him. <laughs> I am dude's going to. Chilling. Yeah, dude's just chilling over here, but I am not going to survive that encounter. 
I also did not survive that. Go. I have feel. I have a feeling there has to be health, but I'm just like not going to where the health is. There it is. Health and homing. Uh, die person. Uh, man. This was also a, a, a genre in and itself. I think you. I think actually you weren't alive for this, but there was a time where a lot of arcade games were. You ran over a person with a car, and that was entertainment. <laughs> like, that was enough for people. It was like, oh, yeah, how many people can you hit with your car? Yeah, like, I know Carmageddon was a big uh, thing. This is where I died. I was unable to. No lives left. I'm going to have to try replay. All right, we'll be back for another night as we continue trying to learn the story of Mr. Grimm, <laughs> who is the most, the grimmest. Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones. We'll be right back. Say goodbye, Toast. Goodbye.